Hi you guys, this is Chris. Here's a video for you guys on the strap that you got for the program. To put on the strap, have the buckle placed over your shoulder. Reach across the back, lift up, cross it to the other side, and then bring it up under your arm. Pull the strap down to engage and slightly pull your shoulders back. So we don't want this. Shoulders all the way back. It's ridiculous. It's not that. Just a little bit of a reminder to prevent you from rounding in. If you're rounding in and the strap is on, it says, wait a minute, I feel this. Now I feel nothing. So right now I can put my finger underneath the strap. It's not that tight, but it's just tight enough to remind me not to stretch. If you put the strap on and you pull down and it slides out, you've got the buckle upside down. It didn't lock. So just take it off, reverse the buckle. That'll lock it in. Don't get it too tight. We're not trying to pull our shoulders back like this. We just simply want vertical movement. So why do we want the strap? I have an assessment that we live in a VUCA world, volatile, uncertain, chaotic, and ambiguous. And that when we live in this COVID, Black Lives Matter, heat records being broken, everything's coming at us, political environments, it impacts us. And generally, we start to breathe faster, we start to contract in, and when we do this, it puts a certain chemistry in our system which changes our thinking. We may go more fear-based, we may freeze, and we may just basically engage in that classic fight, flight, or freeze response. So by putting on the strap, we change the message. We say, I don't need to protect. My arms are by my side, my shoulders are back, and I can breathe easier. When I can breathe easier, my rate of breathing slows down. When I'm stressed out, the rate of my breath goes up. If you're an athlete, Breathing fast is a really good asset because you're going to go burn off all that fuel, that oxygen that goes into your system, you're going to burn it off by engaging in some physical activity. So breathing fast and in your upper chest is a really good thing. If you're an athlete or if you're going to go lift heavy objects or if you're going to push against something or if you're tired and you want to wake up. But what I see a lot of is that people are generally rounded in, their heart rate's up, they can't respond to danger because there's no real danger to respond to. Being panicked isn't going to help in COVID. Being panicked in Black Lives Matter doesn't help. Being panicked with heat records being broken is not helpful. We need to be able to say, I'm safe, does some other interesting things. Our brain turns on and we can think clearly, we can be compassionate, and we can be empathetic with other people. When I'm here, thinking clearly doesn't really work. Um, the front part of our brain that makes us human turns off. So doing this also allows us to think differently. So once you get the strap on and you've got it, wear it for 10 or 15 minutes. Before you do that, make a mood chart. Say, my mood is this, I feel like this, and take a note. Then wear the strap for 10 or 15 minutes. And then do another mood chart and see if your mood changed at all. Remember the breathing exercise, one step, one breath. Do that with a strap. One step, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Practice one step, one breath. Now with the strap on, not tight, just enough to remind your shoulders to go back. Do a mood check before and after and see if this is affecting your mood. This strap is intended to help you relax. It's intended to help you breathe better, and it's intended to put you more into a clear, calm, and alert state. So practice this with yourselves before you ever use it on anybody else. Wear it for 10 or 15 minutes at a time. Don't go to sleep with it. Don't crank it too tight. Don't wear it all the time. If you want to go into a meeting and it's a stressed out meeting and you have a jacket or a sweater, you can put the strap on and the jacket will completely hide it. But go into a meeting with your shoulders back and this reminder to stand up straight. And I think you might find you get a different result in the meeting. I worked with a client who was overweight and slumped all the time. And he said, I'm on 
uh, management, but I really want to get to the senior leadership team. And so he had several meetings with the senior leadership team that were scheduled. So as his coach, I had him put on the strap. The response was immediate. What did you do? You look more confident. I really like who I see. Your coach must be really good. We used to laugh. He's like, I don't, I don't get it. I move my shoulders back two inches and people respond to me really differently. Well, long story short, about three months later, he ended up on the senior team. And he attributes a lot of it to the fact that he changed his posture. Does he use a strap all the time? No, because he doesn't need it, because he knows this feels better to him now. So he walks with pride, height, openness, and confidence, and everybody sees him as a different human being. So a little story to tie that all together. So this isn't for your clients yet. This is for you to practice on yourself, to see what it feels like to spend time with your shoulders back. First off, just do it walking around, doing dishes, doing whatever, interacting with kids and family members, and then do it with the breathing exercise that we worked on. One breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. This is a breathing exercise. The purpose of that is to slow your breathing down. Walk as slow as possible so that you can slow your breathing down. One step, one breath. When you can control your breathing and you can control your posture, you've really entered into the somatic domain of being able to control your response to a chaotic world, which will make the chaotic world respond to you in a different way. Can't wait to see you in the mid-conference and enjoy. Take care.